Okay, so vlog style video this week. This one is less a vlog review and more a vlog life thing. Um, so part of the reason why my schedule for videos for the past week or so has been screwed up. Um, a little bit of this was me meaning to push things back a bit to get try and get the last uh or not the last but one of my uh final um book reviews of the Hugo Award nominees for Best Novel out before uh, Worldcon. And I almost got there. I did get um, She Who Became the Sun read, and that the prose review of that is up on the blog right now. However, um, that also, I also ended up missing a couple days of blog posts. And also I ended up missing a couple weeks where I planned to do my usual Friday streams. Um, so we may, there may be some tight turnarounds when it comes to upcoming videos. Also, for that matter, there were a couple of weeks, times last week where, or week before, that I'll, I ended up dumping a week's worth of, uh, videos on one day. And the reason for all of that mess, to an extent, is because I have, co I had COVID on the last full week of August. I tested positive for COVID-19. And now I'm triple vaxxed and I normally when going out wear a mask. But on the other hand, also I recently started a new like I'd started a new job recently. And like there's a lot of people out there in the world right now who aren't going around masked. Just not to put it too fine a point on it. Um, and so, like, well, I wear a mask. I go out. Everyone in my house wears a mask when they go out. Um, this does not preclude, like, masks aren't 100% certainty of um, preventing COVID. It helps a lot, but the chance came in. And also, like, in my workplace, nobody's been wearing a mask. And while this hadn't caused a problem over like the couple months before that, I so my job started in July. The past couple weeks, like leading up to that, we had a whole bunch of people touring through where we're where I'm working, um, and so and none of them were wearing masks either, so they could have brought COVID in with them, um, and just like going through grocery stores and that sort of thing, not a lot of people wear masks, and. You, you got to get groceries. You got to get food. Um, so as far as my experience is having COVID, the first, so first few days, like I started with a progressively escalating sore throat. Um, I had home self test kits and those two first and my initial two self tests were negative. But I still had a sore throat, and I started getting a fever. So on the so that was on the on the weekend. Um, so on the Monday, uh, only Monday, I think I had a fever. Um, so I called in sick to work and decided to get a PCB um, test. I think that's the term. Uh, not PCB. Um, PC something test. Uh, yeah, it is PCB test. It is, it is in fact, oh, PCR test. Um, I keep thinking PCB because I've been watching, because one of the things I was watching while I was homesick was a whole bunch of um, back episodes of RMC, of RMC The Cave um, with some repair, with some uh, their Trash to Treasure rehabilitation videos. Anyway, moving on. Um, and that test... Like they said, oh, 24 hour turnaround. I got it back at the end of that day with a positive test. And yeah, that hit me like a, that, that ended up hitting me something like a truck. Um, I spent most of that week basically sleeping off and on. Um, some bugs hit me harder than others. Um, there's some bugs where I could basically end up spending most of a day, um, uh, Mostly like mostly awake, generally feeling well enough to say sitting around in a chair with my feet up, like watching a movie or playing video games or that sort of thing. Um, something where I can give it attention and it's just me 
like I'm spending more time sitting, blowing my nose, and having gross sinuses and that sort of thing, and no condition to go to work, but also not in any reasonable condition, but but, well, but not necessarily in a situation where I am exhausted and having to sleep all the time. The COVID was mostly an exhausted and having to sleep all the time, except for like the, like the Wednesday of that week. Then I got hit by the nausea. Um, I'd managed to dodge that most for most of the time. And then that week or that day, and that most mainly that day only, um, really bad nausea, could not keep anything down, including fluids, which like water, which what, or ginger ale, which is the go-to. I have nausea and I need something to rehydrate and also get me some calories um, situation. That was, so that was exciting. And I had to get in touch with the doctor and get, anti-nausea medication um so i didn't have yeah so i didn't have to get you know uh a uh iv for uh fluids because those are the things i those are things i like to avoid so that was wednesday and the rest of the week managed to avoid being that exciting i was able like following few days were basically on the downhill slide and by the following Monday so basically like more or less seven days from the day I got my, I got the initial PC uh, R test um but by the following Monday I was more or less I was basically more or less recovered I still have a bit of a lingering sore throat I've tested negative now and I no longer have a fever it's been it's been, again, it's been a week as of this recording, since my last day of having COVID, uh, but it definitely, like, it definitely like screwed most like screwed up most of my, not just most of my plans, and also ate up most of my um, sick leave, but it also, it was it was a pain. Um, minus five stars would not recommend for anyone. So why am I doing this relatively short video? Well, as like as an explanation for why things are were messed up and why we had that weird gap in my um, videos, and also kind of as a reminder, yeah, COVID's still going on. COVID's still a thing. Get vaccinated. Get your booster shots if you are eligible and wear a mask when you go outside. Um, and also, if you're somebody who runs conventions, um, stick with mask policies, like have mask policies for your conventions. Um, like Portland Retro Gaming Expo came back this year or it's coming back this year. And I had a thought of, oh, I, I should go. I'm. I missed going to PRGE over the pandemic and I was looking forward to going. And then I saw that they're not requiring masks and I'm a little, and I became significantly more hesitant and let them know as such. Like, if anything, the only reason why I might consider going now, if I were to consider going at all, it's because I've had COVID rel in relatively close proximity the to the convention so in theory in theory i should have antibody still i should still have antibodies by then um like very active recent antibodies by then um but i on their hand i don't necessarily want to risk it either so that's where i'm at on that um, so i'm i'm probably not going to go to prge this year I am going to KamoraCon. KamoraCon is maintaining their required mask policy from last year. And last year I was able to go to KamoraCon and enjoy it. And I didn't get COVID then. So I think that's points in favor of maintaining a mask policy, um, following a mask policy and staying masked in public. So that's, that's that update. Um, also doing the, the vlog style video this week, because I have my, online D&D &D game this week so that screws with my recording schedule 
we will return to our regularly scheduled videos or regular style of videos next week. So until next time, once again, um, get vaccinated, get your boosters if you are available, if you are eligible to receive them, and stay masked. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. <laughs>